Welcome to your message at five, Pentecost edition. Pentecost was a time when the Holy Spirit came down to the disciples. And strange things happened. People heard the message in their own language. There was the sound of wind, even though it wasn't even windy. And most amazingly of all, there were flames coming out of people's heads like they were on fire, but they weren't really on fire. Now, we're going to do an experiment today, and of course, we're going to look at fire. Now, in doing this experiment, you need to have an adult do all of the parts of the experiment for you. So we're going to take a lemon, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole just in one side of the lemon, and just take a little bit of the lemon out. And then I'm going to cut a hole directly opposite in the other side of the lemon. <clears throat> and through these holes, we're going to put some sparklers. So I need a sharp knife for this, so you need an adult for that. And then to make it easier for me to get the sparklers through, I've got a screwdriver and I'm just going to poke the screwdriver through from one side to the other. There we go. And then we need to put some sparklers in. Now, this works best if you use quite a few sparklers. I've got four here, but really you probably need more than four to make it work really well. What you do is you push your sparklers through from one end to the other. And that's our lemon waiting to go. Now, it's probably best to do this when it's dark, so we'll put this outside in the dark and we'll light it up and see what happens. So here we are, it's dark, and we're lighting it. And one thing you'll notice is I'm lighting it from the side that didn't go through the lemon. That's because the other side can get a bit wet. So we'll just see what happens here. Okay, we're alight. And you'll notice the sparklers, oh, they're coming out the other side of the lemon. So, what's happening here is that the sparklers contain a chemical that gives off oxygen and keeps the sparkler burning even though it's on the inside of the lemon where there's a lot of water and not a lot of air and it'll keep burning through provided you have enough sparklers so that's what actually keeps it burning through there now in the Pentecost story the people were so full of the Holy Spirit that they had that flame come out just like that lemon did I've got another lemon. I think we should do this again, don't you? So let's have another go. See if it works the same the second time around. Now this one, I've actually got nine sparklers going through the lemon. We're alight again. One of the things I wanted you to watch is that when all of the show's over and we get right to the end, can you see the lemon glow on the inside? That's how the people were when the Holy Spirit came down to them. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment and do have an adult do it for you.